Hanna. I'm here with the MTR Network, and we have Paul Johansson and Rukia Bernard. Did I say that correct? You got it right. All right, from Van Helsing. And what can you guys tell us about the upcoming season? If you can tell us anything. You want to take this one? I'll start it, you finish it. Okay. So I think for me, the best part of this season is um, there's a revelation that the humans start to figure out something the vampires already know. And there's kind of a quest who gets there first. And it would give domination to whichever facet figures it out. First. first. Yeah. yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love in the second season how a lot of the stories get richer and more complicated. Uh, I, uh, relationships that you thought were trustworthy aren't anymore. Relations that you didn't think were trustworthy all of a sudden become trustworthy. And everybody's kind of watching their backs. Okay, speaking of relationships, you and Axel, are you getting closer or? <laughs> well, he's a vampire now, and I don't know. That's a complicated question. I really did him in last year. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, how about a little fun question? Sure. We have vampire apocalypse. We have zombie ap apocalypse. What kind of apocalypse would you want to be stuck in? Oh, geez, that's a good want question. Want to be or not want to be? Okay. Want, we, to be. want to be? Well, I don't want to be in any apocalypse. Do we have a choice? <laughs> Or we have to be an apocalypse. Yeah. Which one it's gonna be? Yeah. Zon oh, oh. Well, what kind of? Okay, I got a, I got a question. What kind of zombie are we talking about? Is not it, running zombies. Not running one. So more like a Walking Dead kind of. Yeah. Okay. Which um, kind of apocalypse would you want to be stuck in? <laughs> and you don't Is have there a choice. A pizza apocalypse. Because it's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Pizza apocalypse? God, I don't, I don't know. Our our vampires are god awfully scary. They are. I might take a zombie apocalypse. I think, you know, I don't know if I'd survive a vampire apocalypse according to Van Helsing. They're scary, man. Yeah, I you think are I, a yeah, scary yeah. mofo on that show. No, I don't know. I mean, I think you, you know, dangling vampire? participles and unfinished sentences are scarier, aren't they? I mean, I'd much <laughs> rather be caught in a, in a word apocalypse or something. You know what I mean? Like, a, 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 you know, some novel apocalypse, right? You know, I'm, <laughs> you to come with I'm, go, I'm going out there. Oh, you're going yeah. out there. I, I, don't like, I don't like exorcisms. I'm afraid of that. I'm not afraid of vampires. I'm not afraid of zombies. I'm afraid of I don't like like the occult. The occult scares me. Like really mm -hmm. occult. Like stuff that you go and go, this is real. And you watch it on YouTube and there's like some possessed child and it's playing with a doll. Nah, nah, nah. And you're like going, no, 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 no. Like I'm not afraid of monsters. I'm afraid of like spirituality. That scares me really badly. I'm scared Does of monsters. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you have kind of gotten known for playing the bad guy a lot. It's because I'm really in, in real life. <laughs> He's awful. Uh, yeah, no, he is good. a real yeah, bad, yeah. bad man. I was no. ask the <laughs> nicest thing you've ever done for somebody. Um, I hope the nicest thing I've ever done for somebody is what they would do for me would be to forgive them. I think forgiveness is a lost art, especially in the social media world where we're all experts on everything and criticize and criticize and criticize. Anonymously, too. Anonymously, yeah. and I think that's cowardly. I think yeah. I'm working on learning to forgive. Um, I think, I hope that people will do that for me, too. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Yeah, thank you.